India has been home to vast empires and kingdoms. The Mauryan dynasty was one such empire. Chandragupta Maurya founded the Mauryan dynasty. His kingdom spread almost the whole of the Indian subcontinent and reached as far as parts of Afghanistan. He made Patliputra his capital. Chandragupta Maurya was guided by his able adviser Kautilya, who was also called Chanakya. Chanakya wrote Arthashastra, an important book containing the history of the Mauryas. Megasthenes, a Greek general, also lived in the Mauryan court at Patliputra. He recorded the glory of the Mauryan Empire in his book Indica. Trade flourished during the reign of Chandragupta Maurya. The Mauryans traded with Southeast Asia through the Malay Peninsula. Silk textiles, spices, and other exotic foods were exported from India. Later, Chandragupta followed Jainism, gave up his throne, and joined a group of wandering monks. He was succeeded by his son Bindusara. His son Ashoka took over the empire after him. Ashoka was one of the most powerful rulers in Indian history. He succeeded his father Bindusara in 273 BCE. Right from his childhood, he showed promise in all areas of warfare as well as academics. Emperor Ashoka's empire covered most of India. South Asia and beyond Ashoka invaded Kalinga now Odisha to annex it to his empire Kalinga war changed him completely he was hunted by the scenes of the Kalinga war in which the whole province was destroyed and thousands were killed this was the turning point in his life from a power hungry emperor he turned into a follower of buddhism and gave up violence completely He built many stupas such as the Sanchi Stupa and Viharas monasteries for followers of Buddhism. The Gupta dynasty was founded by Sri Gupta. The Gupta kings began ruling from central India in parts of Uttar Pradesh and Bihar. Chandragupta II, also known as Vikramaditya, was the most important ruler in the Gupta dynasty. His reign was called the Golden Age of the Guptas because of the progress in the fields of art architecture and literature his empire stretched from gujarat to bengal he made patliputra and ujjain his capitals during vikramaditya's reign beautiful gold silver lead and copper coins were issued his court had nine important people called the nine jewels or navratnas who were great scholars kalidas a renowned poet was one among them He wrote about Chandragupta's conquests over 21 kingdoms and Shakuntalam. The universities of Nalanda and Taxila became famous during his reign. After the decline of the Gupta Empire, it was Emperor Harshavardhana who unified the whole of northern India into a single empire. He ruled for a period of 40 years. After his accession, Harshavardhana united the two kingdoms of Thaneshwar and Kanauj. Kanauj was made the capital of his empire. Harshavardhana was tolerant towards all religions and supported them fully. Later in his life he became a patron of Buddhism and built many stupas and monasteries. He also encouraged learning and gave patronage to the Nalanda University. He sent a mission to China and established diplomatic relations between China and India. Glowing accounts of the life and times of Harshavardhana have been recorded by Bana in Harsha Charita and by Hyun Sang, a Chinese Buddhist pilgrim. Akbar was the greatest of all the Mughal rulers. He ascended the throne when he was only 13 years old. Akbar conquered Malwa, Gujarat, Kabul, Kashmir, Bengal and Kandesh. He built a large empire in North India and established his empire as one of the largest in the country. Akbar was a kind and just ruler as well as an able administrator. He founded a new religion called Deeni Ilahi or Divine Faith. Akbar was a lover of art, music, architecture and literature. He built many beautiful buildings such as the Agra Fort, Humayun's tomb, Buland Darwaza and the city of Fatehpur Sikri. Shah Jahan was the son of Jahangir Shah Jahan's reign is called the Golden Age of the Mughal Empire 
as the Mughal Empire reached its zenith in prosperity and fame during his reign. Shah Jahan was a great lover of architecture and built many beautiful buildings such as the Taj Mahal, Red Fort, Jama Masjid and so on. The Taj Mahal is considered as one of the seven wonders of the world. Poetry and music flourished during his reign. He encouraged foreign trade. Raja Raja Chola occupies the foremost place in the history of the later Cholas and was known as Raja Raja the Great. Raja Raja Chola, early in his career, conquered the Chera Kingdom. He conquered the Gangas of Mysore, the Kingdom of Vengi and the Pandyas. Raja Raja Chola assumed the title Mummudi Cholan, the Chola king who wears three crowns, that of the Chera, Chola and Pandya. He also sent his army to invade Ceylon, Sri Lanka and conquered Maldives, Sumatra and other places in the Malay Peninsula. He constructed the Brihadishwara temple at Tanjore, his capital.